Today's pickup buyers are more cost conscious than ever. In 1981, they want a truck that offers economical operation without sacrificing the value features that make owning a pickup so practical and pleasurable. When it comes to the total package, the new 1981 Chevy pickup represents an important step ahead of its nearest sales competitor with many value advantages. Let's compare the Chevy against the Ford pickup and make Chevrolet's value advantages visible. Advantages that make the Chevy pickup a better buy. Having been redesigned last year, the Ford pickup remains relatively unchanged for 81. Its newness is wearing off, so it may not be quite as appealing to pick up prospects this year. Here's what is new from Ford. A 4.2 liter V8 engine, an optional four-speed overdrive automatic transmission, automatic locking front hubs on four-wheel drive models, all of which are extra cost. Oh, and Ford now offers power windows and door locks, an option that's been popular with Chevy truck buyers for many years. This year, it's the Chevy pickup that's been significantly redesigned. It represents an intense engineering effort to improve operating efficiency without sacrificing toughness roominess, payload, or that high level of comfort and convenience that people expect from a Chevy truck. When compared to last year's model, one major accomplishment of its new design is that it takes less power from the engine to get a Chevy pickup rolling and to keep it rolling. The new aerodynamic styling of the front end, for example, is designed to cut down on air resistance. Every single part of the 81 models has been evaluated and examined by Chevrolet engineers striving to selectively reduce weight without sacrificing toughness. Rolling resistance has been reduced through the use of high pressure, easy rolling tires and new low drag front disc brake calipers, standard on all models rated under 8,500 pounds GVW. How easily the vehicle rolls is only part of what contributes to economical operation. Another key factor lies in engine selection. The greater the choice of engines and horsepower ratings, the easier it is to efficiently match a power team to fit the need, whether it be economy, brute power, or a combination of both. When it comes to engine availability, Ford offers five engines, one six and four V8s, including their new 4.2 liter engine, which is only available in the F100 series. In California, Ford offers only four engines. In 49 states, the Chevy pickup buyer has two more engines to select from, seven in all, two sixes, four gas-powered V8s, and there's a 5.7-liter diesel V8 available for both stepside and fleetside C10 pickups. Ford doesn't offer a diesel engine at all. In California, Chevy offers six engines, two more than Ford. The big news in Chevy's engine lineup for 1981 is in the advanced technology that has created a new high compression 5 liter V8 with electronic spark control that runs on low octane unleaded fuel. This small displacement four barrel V8 offers the same horsepower and nearly the same torque as the 5.7 liter V8. Yet a base C10 pickup equipped with this engine has an EPA estimated MPG of 17 and estimated highway is 22. Now think about it, a V8 engine offering 165 horsepower, and yet it offers the fuel economy that only a six-cylinder full-size pickup could offer just a few years ago. Ford offers no engine like it. To demonstrate the superior acceleration of this new engine, we took a C10 pickup equipped with a 5-liter V8 and matched it up with an F-150 pickup equipped with Ford's 5-liter V8. We matched other equipment and components as well as possible. Now watch as they both accelerate at full throttle down this quarter mile drag strip. As you can see, this Chevy pickup wins out handily. Now, how do these same two pickups compare in fuel economy? Well, we're giving each a single gallon of gas to see how far they'll go. Both will travel at the same speed around this oval track.
59 laps. The Ford is out of gas while the Chevy keeps rolling along. After 66 laps, the Chevy finally runs out, outdistancing the Ford pickup by a full seven laps. With better acceleration and better fuel economy, the Chevy pickup in this demonstration offers more value than this Ford F-150. But suppose a Ford customer wants an engine offering horsepower similar to that of Chevy's new high compression engine. There is Ford's larger 5.8 liter V8 but it is only rated at 136 net horsepower. And look at that mileage rating, only 13. That's four MPG less than Chevy's new five liter. And yet the Chevy offers 29 more horsepower. Even Ford's 6.6 .6 liter V8 doesn't match the horsepower output of Chevy's new V8 engine. And if a Ford customer wants to better it in fuel economy, he'll have to opt for a six cylinder engine. The point to remember, a Ford buyer must choose between the 4.9 liter 6 or the 5.8 liter V8 if he wants to match either the fuel economy or the horsepower offered by Chevy's new 5 liter V8 with electronic spark control. Now, what about those who seek the best fuel economy in a full-size pickup? Well, Chevrolet's response is the special economy truck. It's a C10 pickup available with either a 4.1 liter 6 or the new 5 liter V8 with electronic spark control. Both models are equipped with a four-speed manual overdrive transmission and special equipment to enhance efficiency. The six-cylinder version has an EPA estimate of 21 miles per gallon. Estimated highway is 30 MPG. And that's unbeatable by any Ford full-size pickup. The V8 equipped special economy truck has an estimated MPG of 20. Think about it. The first full-size gasoline powered V8 pickup that breaks the 20 estimated MPG mark. That's a better estimated MPG than any Ford V8 pickup can offer. But there's more to Chevy's efficiency story. I mentioned earlier that Ford is offering a new four-speed overdrive automatic transmission. Yes, for certain applications, it can help provide good fuel economy. But there's a catch. It's priced $162.50 more than the Ford 3-speed automatic. And it's only available with their 5-liter V8 engine. Once more, it's really not designed for heavy towing. What does Chevy offer in return? Well, if you order an optional 3-speed automatic with any Chevy pickup rated at 8,500 pounds GVW and under, it will come standard with a torque converter clutch. It helps prevent fuel wasting slippage in the drive line by providing a direct mechanical link with the engine at normal road speeds, which in turn allows the engine to operate at reduced RPM. In other words, it provides benefits similar to those of an automatic overdrive transmission at substantially less initial expense. And if the Chevy is properly equipped, it can be used for heavy towing. Now these are just a few of the reasons why the Chevy pickup is an important step ahead of Ford when it comes to economical operation in 81. But today's buyer wants more than economical operation. Built-in value for the dollar is also important. The foundation of the Chevy pickup is a ladder type frame built for strength and rigidity. The Ford pickup frame is also a ladder type configuration, but there's a new option for the Ford F-150 4x4 and 81. A snowplow preparation package that includes special frame liners to strengthen the F-150 frame. The Chevy's frame, on the other hand, is road ready for snowplow applications. When you compare Chevy's massive girder beam independent front suspension with Ford's twin I-beam suspension, you'll find a distinct difference in the serviceability between the two. Basically, there are three ways to adjust the suspension for proper alignment. The toe-in adjustment aligns the wheels so that they're parallel with each other. And both the Chevy and the Ford have provisions for toe-in adjustments. Camber adjustment gives the wheels the proper vertical angle. And both Chevy and Ford suspensions provide camber alignment provisions. The third important alignment is the caster, 
or the backward or forward tilt of the steering axis that tends to set steering in a straight direction by placing the weight of the vehicle either ahead of or behind the area of tire to road contact. The caster setting of Chevy suspension can be easily and precisely adjusted. The caster angle on Ford's twin I-beam suspension is not adjustable. You'll find a key difference in component design when you compare the anti-spin differentials available for the Chevy and Ford pickups. Popular options for those seeking good traction on ice or in sand, mud, or snow. Ford's optional differential is called traction lock and it employs a multiple disc clutch to control the differential action. The Chevrolet's locking differential uses mechanical gearing instead of a clutch to provide differential action. A complete lockup of the rear axle shafts is made when either wheel slips in forward or in reverse. Now, let's compare how well these two different types of differentials perform on a slippery, steep grade. The path for the right wheels is made of a metal sheet coated with glycol. First, the Ford attempts to climb the grade. Notice how the driving wheel on the slippery surface spins ineffectively. The left wheel, with the most traction, should take over and move the track. But because of the steepness of the grade, the traction lock differential is not effective. And now, the Chevy. The right rear wheel starts to spin. So the opposite wheel locks up mechanically. And unlike the Ford, the Chevy moves right on up the hill with little difficulty at all. And pickup prospects should really appreciate the built-in value of Chevy's optional locking differential. And they'll also appreciate the extent to which Chevrolet engineers have gone to protect a Chevy pickup from corrosion. A clear urethane shield has been added here to the Chevy pickup this year to help prevent minor stone chipping of the paint. And you won't find that on Ford. Chevy's tailgate design has improved this year, too, to help fight rust. Notice how the steel ends have hem seams, which help keep water and moisture from entering inside the tailgate. Let's see how that compares with Ford's tailgate. Notice that the inside seams are just spot welded, leaving openings where water can sneak in. And while we're talking about the business end of this pickup, let's compare payload capacities. When comparing maximum gross payload capacity series against series, Chevy pickups offer some key advantages. In the half-ton class, the maximum gross payload of a C10 pickup has up to a 934-pound advantage over the Ford F100, up to 29 pounds more than the Ford F150. In the three-quarter ton class, maximum gross payloads are nearly equal. Ford's F350 has a maximum payload advantage in the one-ton series, but it's interesting to note that if a customer wants a one-ton Ford pickup, he can only get one with dual rear wheels. In fact, compare the base Ford F350 to Chevy's base one-ton C30, which has single rear wheels. The Chevy offers 300 pounds more payload, and it's priced more than $1,000 less. Now, compare four-wheel drive pickups equipped for maximum gross payload. The Ford F-150 has a 33-pound advantage in the half-ton series, but the three-quarter-ton Chevy K-20 beats out the Ford F-250 by an impressive 283 pounds. The Chevy one-ton K-30 hold a 194-pound advantage. And try to get a Ford six-wheeler in a four-wheel drive pickup. You can't. Chevy 4x4 pickups are available with a big dually option, something that people who use their pickups for heavy hauling in tough terrain will appreciate. They'll also appreciate Chevy's new part-time four-wheel drive system for K10 and 20 series models that features automatic locking front hubs and a new lightweight transfer case. Now, Ford offers auto-locking hubs too, but here's the catch. They're an extra cost option, and they stand transfer cases without stopping at speeds up to 25 miles per hour. In the Ford, the driver must first stop the vehicle, then shift into four-wheel drive. Now, let's look inside the cab. More of the ship. Full foam seat is standard for 81. Inertia latch makes it quick, available on the base trim. There are plenty of other built-in standard value advances, like a coolant recovery bottle that lets you add coolant with other, that provides a convenient check of the brake fluid level. The tunnels up to 80 engine and main wiring harnesses wrapped in plastic conduit, audible wear sensors, rear brake bumps, and a lot more. What we part of, and only part of, Chevy pickup, an, an important step ahead in, and built-in value.